the next topic is friends and acquaintances it is important because our conversation takes into account different settings and different participants and their role so the understanding of friends and acquaintances are equally important so there's a difference between whom you call a friend and whom you call an acquaintance friend is somebody with whom you share a very strong bond you hang around you laugh you share intimate details and the aspect of helping each other is there in fact who is there all the time with you and you feel at home in discussing or sharing anything and acquaintance on the other hand is a person whom you know you are aware of but whom you do not interact very often whom you do not share a strong bond and you are not obli obliged to help so looking at it with a, an acquaintance it's a very matter of fact kind of relationship that you enjoy but with a friend you have more intimate relationship more long lasting durable relationship and the friend is someone who becomes a very integral part of your life so you care deeply about your friend and a person who is in uh, your acquaintance has been introduced to incorporate life in most of the time with whom you are basically engaged uh, at your workplace an acquaintance is someone you know but you only have a minor level of interaction and relationship with your acquaintance so what differentiates these two types of participants let's look at this and they although relatively a very little work has been done to determine how friendship or acquaintanceship actually influence one's conversational roles but what has been proposed is the common ground now that is the concept which has been proposed by clark and this concept he calls common ground which refers to the shared understanding of those involved in the conversation for better understanding of common ground let's say a person a must know a given information x and person b must know x and a must know that b knows and b knows that a knows and so on that is both parties are aware that they share the information some of this information some of this common ground is culturally based such as cultural values commonly held or shared beliefs or culturally prescribed roles other types of common grounds are more personal for example when you have a conversation with academic advisor your discussion is linked to these roles roles of holding beliefs and culturally prescribed roles but then the common grounds other types of common grounds are more personal in which shared experiences influence the nature of the conversation clark and his colleague examined how common ground may influence conversational processes so in their study they gave participants with lego models and participant worked in pairs as a director instructed a builder kind of a role in how to assemble lego model in one group directors could see the builders workplace in another group they could not and gave instructions by audio tape partners were much faster when they could see each other's workplace and communicated with each other via physical gestures such as head nods eye gazes and head shakes friends by definition have a great deal more common ground than acquaintances this shared knowledge might influence several conversational processes one is how we close conversation we need ways to close off conversational topics 
when we have done well enough to satisfy the conversational participants for example when talking on the phone to a friend about an upcoming trip to the friend's house we might make some preliminary arrangements for example when we plan plan to arrive how long we plan to stay and still leave other matters for further discussion note how our ability to close off a topic of discussion for now depends on common ground we jointly agree that we can complete the plans later the discussion would be likely to be longer and less successful if we were to have it with a person with whom we were less acquainted friends obviously have a greater degree of common ground than acquaintances so it was no surprise that their shared knowledge influenced the conversation and they influence it in multiple ways friends are more likely to refer to other people and events without explaining who or what they were they can make references to past encounters they can talk about the habits plans and so forth horn steel analyzed phone conversation between friends and acquaintances and strangers and found number of differences friends used more implicit opening for instance hi it's me how are you as opposed to the explicit opening such as good day this is malcolm retrich so acquaintances are the one who use more explicit opening since they refer to a surrounding which comprises of lots of formalities and as far as friends are concerned they go for less formal exchange of sentences and exchange of conversational topics acquaintances in this regard are generally similar to strangers to conclude we have examined the effects of two types of participants on conversational interaction we have seen that friends tend to use more informal way of closing a conversation whereas acquaintances use more formal way of closing as well as opening of a conversation